Mm, yeah. Mm. I have no idea what that's supposed to be. It's me warming up for this spectacular adventure that is the Dead Red Herring podcast. Mm-mm-mm. And what an adventure it is. Mm. And today your guides will be me, Roland. And me, Caron. No, wait, Magnus. <laughs> huh? You know, the boatsman over the... Sticks. Oh, right. Caron. Fuck, where's my coins? <laughs> um, do no, you, you, do you stay here. Oh. <laughs> do you take credit card? <laughs> well... Can you switch that, eh? <laughs> I require money for transfer. Ah, oh, shit. I want to get my car. Oh, that's all good. <laughs> <laughs> if you get take the riches that you had in life with you to the grave as the old Egyptians. Can you imagine the amount of hipsters with cream and iPhones and, and uh, flannel shirts? Coming to Anubis to weigh, like, oh, is it? No, wait, it's Osiris. So wait. No, it, it, uh, who weighs no, the shit? It, it is Anubis, and your heart is weighed against the feather. Yeah, and if your heart is heavier, you'll pass. You'll pass. No, no. It, 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 oh no! Wait, it's a feather's heavier. Yeah, then you'll get to. Uh, if the feather is heavier, then you get go to paradise, so to say. Yeah. If the heart is heavier. You go to whatever kingdom of the dead they have in Egypt. <laughs> Y'all going to hell. Mm-hmm. Y'all still going to hell. But speaking of the dead. Speaking of motor. No, wait. <laughs> um, speaking of the dead. Yeah. Right now, there might be a. I'm not sure, I'm not sure if I'm going to say a, a chance, a risk or whatever <clears throat> the correct term might be. But uh there, there's been a, a sort of divorce yeah. between two big companies, yeah. Disney and Sony, about the rights and licensing of Spider-Man. That's true. So right now, we don't know whether or not we'll see another Spider-Man movie within the MCU. They get them even weeks and uh, every other holiday. <laughs> yeah. Now, who's the mommy, who's the daddy? Hmm. Heteronormative, but uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, both are bitches, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> yeah boy. <laughs> no, but uh, so at, at current moment, Sony takes back the licensing. Yep. So, are we gonna see another reboot of the Spider Man? You think? I don't think so, because I think Disney's gonna up their game, not in a <laughs> in in the moral way, but they're gonna just. Well, if we give you this, if we give you money, more money, and this couch group for only da, 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 da. <laughs> spin the wheel, Bob. <laughs> oh dear, Bob. yeah. I I wonder though if Bob Sony <laughs> spin the wheel, Bob. Yep, oh, no. yep. <laughs> but Shit. I do wonder if Sony would accept such a deal because it, that's the thing. The reason they split. Uh, or or break the agreement is that Disney wanted to have fifty percent of the income yeah. from the franchise. Yep, uh, and Sony were wasn't gonna allow that. They, no, they wouldn't accept that. Exactly. Sony was going for the old. Uh, since you borrowed our licensing, you you are gonna get what uh, how what we pull in on the opening nights. So yeah, they get a percentage of that. I think there was something about 5% or yeah, whatever it was. Exactly, and then Sony takes the rest of the winnings. Um, <laughs> winning! Winning! Exactly, so they, it, <laughs> it didn't really fit either part, mm. but I think they're all gonna go with some hard negotiations, because both have something to gain here, and I don't think this is something like, ah, well, fuck it then. No. Because they know what a cash cow Spider Man oh, can yeah. be. Oh, yeah. I mean, they had a lot of plans for uh, the character as well. Oh, yeah. I heard something about them actually trying to make him into the replacement for Iron Man in sort of way. Or, or not, not as Iron Man no, per no, se, course, but more but having the icon. Yeah, uh, the, the part of the, Iron Man yeah, and the Avengers. Exactly. As, yeah, ex- okay, yeah, exactly. So, um,. Yeah, I mean, they have those plans for that. I mean, he was going to be in, what was it, five more movies? Upcoming movies? Something like that. So, it's a lot. But, I think, 
Sony is really not going to gain on bringing Spider-Man back to Sony. Because that uh, they only have Spider-Man left because let's be honest here, Sony is a failing franchise or failing production company. I'm not so sure about that. I be- think they actually might gain something from this because to be honest, a lot of people are fed up with the MCU. A that- lot of people have lost interest in the MCU and I think that Sony might actually stand to gain to being the, the license holder and doing its own thing with, with the Spider-Man. That could be. However, if they are going back to their own old habits of, all right, Will, we have Spider-Man again. Let's make another origin uh, trilogy. Yeah. Then, no, people are, aren't going to stand up. Yeah, I, I okay, think fuck so. Okay, another reboot. No. Yeah, th- I, I, I think that's true. Because I feel like that myself, that no, I, I don't need another reboot. We don't need Uncle Ben dying a fourth time. <laughs> How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? <laughs> but just uh, dead. But I wonder uh, if there is any chance of them bringing back uh, Andrew Garfield? Possibly. Maybe. Maybe. I, I know that the mm-hmm. reason he was kicked was because there was a disagreement with the boss of Sony. Yeah. Him being Japanese. Fuck. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> From what I've heard is that Andrew Garfield did something that didn't really s- go right with the boss of Sony. Uh, something dishonorable. <laughs> yeah. Th- it was something like that. And so they decided to, no, y- y- you didn't act in an honorable way, so we kick you. It was something like that. I'm not sure about the details. It's just what I heard. This was a long time ago. So. <laughs> <laughs> to sound that way, some fucked up Japanese reason. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's kind of fucked up. I'll stop that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stop that. <sighs> but, but yeah. Yeah. Okay, we will see if we get uh, Garfield back. Because in all sense, I didn't think he was a bad Spider-Man, really. Actually, I enjoyed those movies because I th- he he had that snappy, quick. Um, how do you say? He had the wits. Wits, exactly. He had the wits of being the Spider-Man, Peter Parker. Yeah. The only okay, sure. You, if I'm gonna cr- critique those movies, mm-hmm. uh, I would say it's more about the things around it, uh, like for instance. <sighs> deciding on having Gwen Stacy. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but it, it kind of, I don't know, even if it harkens back to the origins of the character, mm-hmm. it, 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 I feel that it's it's a bit out of it. I'm not sure really mm-hmm. how to describe it. It just, it felt a bit odd to me. <laughs> but I guess because I, I I think for me, the reason is that it's always been Mary Jane. Yeah, yeah. So when in, suddenly Gwen Stacy comes into the picture, and even though she makes her exit the way she does... <laughs> and now she's dead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it felt like, okay, so you're going with Gwen Stacy that way. Okay, that's interesting. And, you know, they, they, mm. they did a real uh, good version of the origin yeah. of the old Spider-Man. So maybe there was plans to doing a Mary Jane coming into it later on. I we don't think know. So I kind of think so because like you said it is an iconic mm. character Mary Jane. Now, here's another thing though. I saw yesterday that apparently in the comics mm-hmm. they're going to get Spider-Man to marry Black Cat. Finally she get that spider dick, I suppose. Yeah, sort <laughs> of. But to me, I'm looking at it like what, what, what? Why? What the hell? Why do you do this? God damn it! You had Mary Jane. What the yeah. Fuck? Now, sure, the, it, Peter Parker and Mary Jane haven't been a thing, as far as I know, uh, since one more day. Yeah. That fucked that up. <laughs> yeah. I I still think that is the worst fucking thing that happened in all of Marvel, the <laughs> comics. Yeah. But. Um, I saw some comments about the, the new so-called marriage going mm. on that s- someone n- said that wasn't uh, Peter and Mary Jane getting back together or something like that. But I haven't read any comics, any new comics 
So yeah. I'm not in the loop at all. And honestly, I, I'm, I have no interest in being in the loop because <laughs> Marvel doesn't produce any good comics. No, I mean, the new comics are not as good as the old. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think we have, maybe we talked about this, but I, I agree with you on this one. I, I like 616 better. Yeah. After that, I really don't. Well, yeah. I think it's still 616 that they're going on, mm. but they've been messing up with it. I think the ultimate. Uh... Yeah, well, you have ultimate and 616. They're going parallel. Yeah. So, and you have different happenings in the 616 than you have in the. Uh, the ultimate. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's in the ultimate that we have uh, Miles as a Spider-Man. Yeah, I think in ultimate we have the... Uh, we have Miles, we have um, other characters that are so bland and uninteresting. I don't remember their name right now. Yeah. Riri. Is that in ultimate? I think it's in ultimate. Because I think that's with 616. Is it really? I think so. I, I can't swear about it. No, so. me neither, because, because it made me uncertain. Yeah. <laughs> the, the thing is that, as far as I know, or I believe at least, is that uh, Riri Williams is in 616 as a replacement for Tony Stark slash Iron Man. Yeah. Okay, fine. Oh, yeah, she is in 616. Yeah, yeah. sorry. My bad. Yeah, but, I mean, here's the problem with multiverses. Yeah. Too many timelines, too many universes, and especially when there is crossovers going he- here and there everywhere. Mm. That was the main problem with DC back in the day, that they had too many and they wanted to bring them all into one. They noticed that it's not working, so they split them up again and then goes back into one. It's <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Even Marvel has done their fair share of that with, like, for instance, Other M. I... No, Other M, it's... Uh... That that is Metroid, I think. But the, <laughs> there was this event where they went from having a bazillion mutants into having just a couple of hundred. Yeah. Uh, it could have been M Day. I, I'm gonna have to check. That might have been M Day. Yeah, I do recognize that because that was a big purge, pretty much. Yeah. House of M. I get up here, but. That is the one. Anyways, uh, yeah, uh, but to be honest, I don't even keep track. Nah. I mean, they're the good ones that we look back to, but uh, the new. No. Nah. Uh, <laughs> for instance, I, I still enjoy reading the old, uh, old runs of the characters, like. For, for example, The Punisher. Mm-hmm. I have a collection from the 70s going on to maybe 2010, something like that. Mm-hmm. I haven't read them all yet because there's a lot of things to <laughs> read there. But, but looking at the old comics uh, and those story arcs, those are the better ones in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. The art style is the one you remember. The s- storytelling, it's it is what comics are supposed to be. Yeah, exactly. Entertaining, <laughs> and not this full political bullshit telling you what to have and what to do. It is fifty percent political and fifty percent quirk. Yeah, if we're gonna give a good example for the uh, on this. Catwoman mm. in a uh, contemporary comic talking about how bad gun violence is. Why, Selena? Talking about Explain how there to needs us. to be more laws against guns. You are a criminal. What what is with you and your obsession of laws of all uh-huh. of them? We need to respect the laws. Mm-hmm. Okay, Selena, we shall do that. Yeah. You're a donkey! <laughs> so, uh, yeah. When you break character just to get your point yeah. across. I mean, it's, it's like we I've... talked about before. Oh, yeah. This, this whole thing with politically... Uh, Bashing. <laughs> how to say? 
people that have political convictions yep. going into, and in this case, comics, yep. to bring forth their message, not by being creative, making their own thing, but by hijacking already established characters and changing them into something that fits their narrative. Yeah. But since everyone knows and they know they can't make good characters worth a damn <laughs> or write good stories, uh -huh. the reason they need the already established characters is to be able to get their word out. Yeah. At the cost of the character itself. Because people will get angry. They will get fed up. They will stop reading. But not until after the character has been destroyed. Exactly. They don't give a damn about the character no. story. Again, going back to Peter Parker. Mm -hmm. Now they're saying that he's supposed to be bisexual. When did that happen? You know, he needs to fit into the narrative. Of course, of course. I mean, and he can't be <coughs> straight. No, oh, no, 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 oh, no, 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 can't have. Never say the S word. <laughs> and I see a lot of people saying that. Oh, but Deadpool, he's he's written as pansexual. There is actually Deadpool is batshit insane. Yeah, there is nothing within his origin or any at all talking about his sexuality. No. It's like, yes, he acts weird and crazy because he is batshit crazy. Yeah. The reason he is crazy is because his cells in his whole body are just tumors. Yeah. He is one big fucking tumor. He is literally cancer. Yes. Literally, And, and also, it's been explained, it's established that the reason he has his uh, quirky character, batshit insane sort of character and persona is because his brain gets rewired all the time. Yeah. The reason he... I mean, he got the same or even better regenerative uh, abilities as Wolverine mm -hmm. at the cost of making all the cancer cells he had in his body go haywire. Yeah. So that is the reason we, he actually had the regeneration because he, his cells regenerate at such a rapid rate that he... he, he, he all of his cells, they always continually reproduces to to be renewed yeah which also makes his mind go bananas Fuckaroo. yeah so it's not that he's pansexual in air quotes it's just that he, he doesn't care about norms or something because his personality changes all the time yeah well pansexual mad what's the difference really yeah <laughs> but but the reason saying that he is pansexual that that's just a buzzword yeah that is only a Buzzword used today because it fits a narrative. Yeah, of course. Well, that's that's why so so much young people are saying they're gender fluid because that's the new emo or that's yeah, the new exactly. Uh, and then they don't have they don't dare to uh, to say well maybe I wasn't that because then they were, oh of course you were come on yeah. don't berate yourself come on come on you, yeah of exactly you I mean if we're gonna go into this we, but, we shouldn't really go into that because it's not really relevant no, for for the topic but, but it, it is like that a buzzword yeah that used to pushing narratives yeah y just go back to I don't know 2010 yeah nobody fucking cared no it wasn't important and still it's not important. I don't need to know, nor do I care, <laughs> what a superhero character is of particular leaning. What? It's, don't you just wonder if Spider-Man sucks dick? No! It's not important! <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like, whenever the, these progressive people try to make a character... The most important attribute for the characters they, they make are their uh, race or sexuality. Yeah. Which means that the, there can never be any form of progression with the character. No. Because it's... how do you progress as a character that means that you need to change the core? Instead of starting out as, uh, I don't know, a, a, a self-aggrandizing alcoholic... Going in to become the uh, humble yet, uh, uh, oh, what's the word? Arrogant. No, not arrogant. Actually willing to help. Yeah, philanthropist. Philanthropist, yeah. Yeah. While riding around in a high-tech uh, suit of armor. Yeah. 
that's like you can change that. Mm. However, you can't say that. Oh, I'm black, but now I'm white. <gasps> yeah, you see the problem. How here? do you spell whitewashing? <laughs> yeah, or you could say, well, when I started out, I was gay, but now I'm straight. <laughs> see, that doesn't really work. No, it's same as it's the same goes for. Well, I used to be straight, but now I'm gay. Huh? It's like, who cares about <laughs> that? Those are arbitrary characteristics. Although I would like to see a character again that goes from a gay, homosexual, uh, gay black to a white straight. <laughs> a gay homosexual. <laughs> Homosexuality is fucking gay. Happy. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, we're gonna get so much flack for this. The, 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 Let them. The come. only reason we're talking about this is because we're pointing out the hypocrisy in of it. Of course, there is no problem with characters being homosexual, black, white, green, mm. or anything other. It's just that when they make it the core attribute of the character, you can never do anything to make that character progress. No. You have put them in a... Yeah. Put those, them in a th those characteristics isn't something that you can change at all. No. And that's why having that as the core to describe a, a character is the most stupid thing you can do. Mm. However, if you write an original character, yep. then you may do whatever the fuck you want with that character. I mean, for, for make example... Make it black, make it gay, make it... Uh, for example... The comic version of uh, Batwoman. Yeah. She's always been lesbian. Yeah. But that's not her core no. uh, characteristic. It's an arbitrary characteristic. Yeah. Her core characteristics is rather that she's... Uh, she has a great hand for justice. She has quite the cool demeanor. Mm -hmm. And maybe not the most sociable person as far as I know. But... Those features are something that can be changed yeah. with time. Exactly. Now, sure, I'm not sure if I wanted to see her sense of justice change, but you know... <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> for example, you have... Uh, oh, which one of the Robins? Well, if, if it was Jason Todd that became the Red Hood. Yep, that was Jason Todd. Yeah, exactly. He went from being Robin... Yeah. The the uh, the boy wonder exactly uh, right hand of Batman a a champion for justice yeah getting shot and killed oopsie originally at least by uh, Joker yep as a message to Batman but then he comes back and is I'm not gonna say he's the opposite of Batman but sort of he is um, he has his a little own, bit more ruthless he is more of the pure vengeance mm. in that he, he takes no prisoners. <laughs> he goes in guns blazing. Yeah. That is quite the opposite of the way Batman does it. Even though Batman goes in, he breaks a couple of bones and jaws and whatever. Uh, but he, he doesn't kill. He doesn't quote I unquote still, kill. I still love this because when I played a lot of uh, I, I played Arkham City among mm -hmm. other things just, alright, I'm Batman, I don't kill. Just dives into a group of thugs and just breaks their every yeah. bone in their body. But I don't kill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, alright, fine. Well, th then we have uh, the abomination that is the Killing Joke, the animated version. Oh, oh No, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're gonna uh, ignore the first part. <laughs> we don't talk about that because that is a really bad, horrendously fucked up part. We're talking about the good part that is more true to the original uh, mm. comic. Yeah. Uh, I'm thinking about the, the scene where Batman drops into this uh, pit. Mm -hmm. uh, there, a door, fall door opens, and in, in the bottom there are uh, pointy sticks. Shut up! Yeah. yeah. But then there's the uh, circus freak. Mm-hmm. Or two or then whatever it is. Yeah. When he jumps up from the pit, from the ledge hanging there, yeah. he throws the circus freak down there. I think he, that one died. <laughs> so, bro, I think that one might be dead. 
So uh, it, it it's a question whether or not if we didn't see the death, there's no yeah. death. Ah. Does Batman kill? Yes or no? Maybe. Maybe. But huh? he doesn't use guns. That's <laughs> his biggest thing. <laughs> and now I'm just sitting here thinking thinking uh, it was a Batman v Superman. Uh, yeah, I know that atrocity. Yeah. But, but I'm just Suddenly thinking, he uses a gun. Yeah, the Batmobile has two machine guns and just blows up cars, but he doesn't kill. What? Actually, he, he does that in The Dark Knight as well. Oh, yeah, he does. I think. That he does. But he I doesn't th- kill. Yeah. <laughs> e- exactly. Yeah, no, he, he only uses it to neutralize to get into uh, melee range. <laughs> You're full of shit, Batman, you know that? <laughs> Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> so yeah, superheroes and their characteristic quirks. Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah. <sighs> oh, that is a nice rabbit hole. Yeah, it is. <sighs> oh, I know that if we continue on, we, this is already a dead horse that we're beating. But if we horse. continue on, it's going to be a rant about you know identity politics and everything. And, I think we already covered that. <laughs> yeah. There's so much more we can flog that. Poor equine. <laughs> Equin. Equine. Equi. <sighs> Horse, fine. Or is it es- Esquire? Esquire? No, e- Esquire is uh, the title. You're a title. Yes. Title holder. Well, as we established in the. Uh, oh, right. Es- in Esquire, isn't that something like between gentlemen and. Uh, Esquire, yes. Yeah, so it's, it's something. Yeah. But yes, I think we established in one of our earliest streams that Magnus is what could be a title in uh, Roman times. Yes, I am big. Yes. Yes, I am. Yes, you are fat. Always with a fat joke. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do, fatty? Eat me? Okay. <laughs> get away, get away, get away, get away. Chomp. Oh. You don't need that toe. Oh. You don't know where that toe's been. I do know now. <laughs> In your mouth. In my mouth. Oh, God. Oh, thanks. Now I'll start to uh, think about the dark side of uh, the internet. Namely, uh, well, it's not so much on Tumblr anymore, but I... Th- I think it's still on uh, Good God, what's that site? Uh, you know where people put up their their drawings and stuff. DeviantArt? Like. Yes. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. Good. Ugh. Now you're thinking about it too. You have to go there, didn't you? I just did. <coughs> you started it. No. No. Suffer. Suffer. I did. Suffer. Bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Right. Speaking of Tumblr, <laughs> it never came into fruition that they were going to start it up again. I think it, it, that project just died, s- simmered out and died. God damn it, Pornhub, you promised. At you need to get rid of these weirdos. <laughs> at least I haven't heard anything more about it, so, yeah. <laughs> Come on, we need to take care of these weirdos. Yeah, we still have refugees that need to go home. <laughs> <laughs> they get, I mean, more than one says, oh, good lord, look at that time. <laughs> But yeah, we still have uh, <laughs> the Tumblr refugees. They must go home, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> no, seriously, they must go home. Yeah, they need to go back to Tumblr with their weirdness. Yes. Like yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go again. Oh, shit, here we go again. <sighs> But uh, if, if we're going to go and beat another dead horse, let, let's pull out the Bioware horse. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Get my finest whip. Whoosh. Yeah, but, but uh, during the last couple of weeks, yeah. uh, main, well, not main, but senior, but senior staff of Bioware have started to leave the company. There oh, are no. at least two big names. Uh, one is a senior working for Anthem, the other one on Dragon, Dragon Age Dragon Age 4. Jesus. So, it doesn't really... Okay, when it comes to Anthem, I can believe that, <laughs> that that is the rats leaving the ship. Yeah. Not saying that 
the developers and so are rats, but you know, it's a it's a fucking it's expression. expression that we can say. When does the sailor start leaving the ship? It's not when everything is right with the ship. I'll give you that clue. Yeah, exactly. But when it comes to the Dragon Age uh, leaving, yeah, that that's supposedly more of a uh, personal decision. Apparently, oh dear. Yeah, it it it, um, it hasn't really anything to do with the company, as far as we know. <laughs> it could be. Yeah. But but what's more interesting than the person in, by themselves leaving, it's what does it mean for the company? What does it mean for the future of Bioware? Yeah. Now, I, I don't have any high hopes for Bioware because they, they've kind of mm. fucked up a lot during the last couple of years. Yeah, I mean, there are some decisions that are just really questionable uh, in this. I think the last decent game, now I'm going to say decent, <laughs> not good, but not bad necessarily, but yeah. kind of okay. Yeah. In my opinion, that was Dragon Age 2. Uh. Now, I haven't uh, played the third yet, uh. Inquisition. Uh, but from what I've heard, I mean, it's been out a couple of years. Yeah. Uh, I think I actually have have it at home because I I borrowed think it from you borrowed uh, it from a yeah. from your fiance. Yeah, but I haven't played it yet because it's it's for the 360 and that one's still somewhere in a moving box. Yeah, at the bottom, <laughs> sort of. But from what I've heard, it's a also a decent game, but there's quite a lot of Features that maybe should have been done something about. Yeah, maybe. Um, I don't really rem- remember a lot from that game, but uh, mm, yeah. But maybe. but at least you could play it. Yeah. Now, the fourth. Uh, we. I have no idea what the fourth was supposed to be about. Really, I, I haven't been that interested. It hasn't come out yet, but what I've heard is uh, it was rumored to be um, heavily political. Right. Now, uh, th- there are some bells ringing here. It was mm. one of the the lead writers or whatever it was that said that there was going to be a lot of politics. Yeah, I, yeah, I think it, it was something like that. And yeah. sure, I mean, the Dragon Age game had... S- yeah, that has it had always been about uh, belonging and yeah, stuff like, yeah. And, now I remember and politics, but it was politics in their own yeah, in their own world. But when they say politics nowadays, yeah, it's, I am getting really scared because we all know that mm, when they say politics nowadays, it's not gonna be the fantasy world kind. No. It's gonna be uh, the orange man bad, of course. Yeah, but. Just, just going back to the mm-hmm. thing about Bioware. Yeah. I think that what we see is a direct effect of both it being bought by EA. Yeah. And also the progressive ideas sipping into the entertainment business. Yeah. I think so too. Because... Ever since the debacle with uh, Andromeda. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Even though it's known that it was the B team working on it because they pulled all of the A team into uh, Anthem, which still... Still didn't do good. Yeah. Just everything around the development, all the comments, all the, the basically fucks, fuck-ups... It, it's like they, they're not even trying anymore. No. They're giving up. Exactly. And, and then you hear about how they push the uh, people on the floor with uh, working overtime uh, and crunching. Now, mm-hmm. crunch is to be expected in this business because at some point it is that, okay, we have a deadline. We have a lot of things to work on. We need to do some crunching. However, their, their method of looking on it is that okay people start crunching because we're not even sure that it's gonna be a good game mm. uh, and they start the crunch way 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 early and they it's like the, it's a, a constant crunch mm. and then 
we've heard that they rely on the so-called Bioware luck. That, oh, we know it's not going to be a complete game, but we've had success uh, earlier and everything's been good. The the Bioware magic, so to say. Mm. And that's what they're Mm. relying on. And look what happens. It doesn't work. Of course. (laughs) Hey, here's an idea. Maybe because of the luck is because you made some good games because you put some effort into it. Maybe. Or maybe they actually had good people working out, so it was an enjoyable story. I mean, if we look at the first Dragon Age game, that wasn't the best game when it comes to uh, animations and and so... But the story was amazing. Yeah. I have a couple of complaints about the battle and the leveling system, but it worked. Yeah. I mean, I did manage to beat the game eventually. Mm. I think I actually killed the, oh, what's the witch in the swamp, the mother of the, uh, yeah, I know which one you mean, yeah. I just can't figure out the yeah, name. Yeah, she right turns now. into a dragon also, uh, yeah. and I I actually managed to beat that boss level character, mm-hmm. thinking not too much about it. I kn- it, Sure, it, it was a difficult battle, but I did it, and then... I heard someone say that that was supposed to be the worst battle in the whole game. I was like, what? Really? Are you kidding me? I I had worse time with uh, just a random battle on the map. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that's... uh... Sometimes you just think about what the hell the Vox Populi are talking about. Yeah. (laughs) But I mean, we we experience games in different ways. That is fine. That is okay. Yeah. Of course. So, yeah. Yeah, no, I... <sighs> but high hopes for Bioware in the future? No. No. The the EA curse has already been placed upon that company. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It is doomed. As so many other companies that it has been bought by EA. Yeah. We've where also we... talked about that before. <laughs> where are we going, Papa EA? Oh, you'll see. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> yeah, why are we going behind the shed? Don't awesome. <laughs> Let's look at the flowers, some. <laughs> look at the bunny. Look at the bunny rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that is why I enjoy the indie scene so much. Yeah. And smaller creators and smaller developers. Mm. Because they can still have their heart in it. Yeah. And that's also why I don't really mind early access games when it comes from the smaller studios. Because... Uh, it is an... How do you say... Even if it isn't fully developed... It is a necessary it is progress. It is sort of a necessary thing because at, at the way things are looking now and have been for a couple of years is that if you're not part of the big boy club, mm. it, which is you have a, a big publisher to pay for you, yeah, you need to do a lot of work for a very little money. Mm. So having an early access means that you can get some extra bucks in to fund your project, and I think that's A-OK. And you can also, as a player, follow the project as it goes along. Yeah. Now, sometimes it's not worth it, sometimes it's totally worth it. Hmm. it it's like hit or miss or, or a little gamble, but if you're in the game, so to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but if you actually put your money into a game, you can always leave your mark you can always say, okay, I like these features. I'm not too sure about this. And if it is an early access, there is actually a chance that this might be remedied before the full version comes out. Mm. So maybe th- there are always opportunities to, to uh, get improvement. Yeah, of course. So usually the, the good and inspiring ideas that are needed in today's gaming market comes from these early access indie projects. Yeah. And not from the AAA produced uh, major publishing title. <sighs> yeah. God damn. Mm? <laughs> hey, we are a AAA company. We're going to go some early access games. What? Yeah, that's that's really annoying to me when big publishers do a early access program. Mm. 
It's just a how do you say a glorified beta test. A uh, glorified cash grab. Yeah. Yes, definitely a cash grab. I mean, if if I'm in, if I'm supposed to pay full price for a unfinished game, I might consider it if it is a small studio that I know don't have much resources. Mm. But I will not pay a the price of a full game for a early access if it comes from a company that I know have the resources to fund itself. Looking at you, EA. Yep. Mm. Flogging EA too much. It's too easy. That's fucking yeah. low, oh, hanging fruit. That's Trump jokes nowadays. Yeah. Just lace into easy. Yeah. And done to death. Yeah. Most of all, lazy. Yeah. So... Yeah, frankly, not even... Frankly. You know what? Maybe we should just bury the fucking EA horse. Nah. Keep it around for a little bit more. <laughs> it might I'm, need some more flogging. Might feel frisky one night. <laughs> yeah. Not that kind of frisky. Yeah. Unless. <laughs> <laughs> Lol, JK. Lol, JK. Unless. <laughs> no. Wait, there, while there are so many other gaming companies we can rave on. Yeah. You know, like, oh, I don't know, Epic. Epic. Frick! <laughs> Gearbox. Oh, because you can't uh, you can't misgender a fucking robot. I I I just thinking is this Poe's law? This this might be Poe's law. I really can't tell if they're joking or not. Nope, they're serious. They're serious. They're serious. You will be banned from the forums if you mis misgender the fucking robot. Let's mis. Gender the fucking robot, then. <laughs> he. It. Was it it? No, it, the uh, correct ones was they. But I call it a fucking it because it's a fucking robot. Yeah, I'm going to call it he. Because the male gender annoys people, so. <laughs> You're it's... what male? <laughs> You're a might whale. A might wail. Yes. You might wail. Yes. And yes, I might. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's crazy. It's just so goddamn crazy. Who the fuck cares? Really? <laughs> uh, well, not the people who pays for the damn things. Yeah, well... Let's, let's just say that. <sighs> with everything that's going on with Borderlands 3 right now, you know, YouTube channels getting shut down because they're accused of uh, being uh, a leak of uh, uh, it was the whole thing that they found uh, these test streams yeah. on twi Twitch. They didn't look at the streams, but they got screenshots because of the system on Twitch mm. and had these to discuss what might be as features in the game. That YouTube channel, I don't remember it right now, bad on me, but it was shut down. Because Gearbox sent private investigators to this guy's house and uh, more or less accused him of uh, industrial espionage. What a free and progressive society we live in. Yes, indeed. And the only thing he but had done was to take screenshots of the images, the still images. From a public stream? Well, it, the thing is that the streams were private. They couldn't see the actual streams. Okay. But on Twitch, uh, if you're following a channel, yeah. you can get a still, a thumbnail, mm. uh, like the, the latest updated uh, is image from the stream. So okay. you can't really see the stream itself, but you can get the thumbnail for it. No, oh, okay. So that's what they had, and these and and through they they found one test account. Yeah, and they found that in the trailer, <gasps> and by following that account, they they uh, got recommendations of a whole slew of test accounts. <laughs> so that's what they had. 
that was technically in the public sphere. Yeah, because, because that is something on Twitch. If you can find something by just clicking up, clicking up on Twitch, yeah, yeah. that that is that is public. Yeah. I'm sorry, Gearbox, but that is public information. Exactly. So he he got pressure from Gearbox stuff like that. And then the PIs and. In the end, he, he just decided to shut down his channel. Mm. That's always good when someone is forced to... Mm. I'm not sure it. if he started up again, or because the last thing I heard, it was that he shut it down, he left it. Mm. And all because Gearbox being dicks. Yeah. And now you have the whole thing with the pronouns and shit. I, I, I just feel like there is so much idiotic politics around this game at this moment from this developer and then let's not even get into all the shit that Randy Pitchford is doing so let's get, get into the shit that Randy Pitchford is no, doing I, I'm just gonna say that I enjoyed Borderlands 1 I enjoyed Borderlands 2 Yeah. I hate the pre-sequel yeah. and I will not spend a dime on Borderlands 3 because no, they fucked up. Yeah, they no. they they don't deserve my money. That's for <laughs> goddamn sure. And it's no matter what they say. No, it's not because it's a bad game. It's because of their actions. It might be a fantastic game. Yeah, probably. Who knows? Yeah, maybe we will, we will torrent that shit. No, we won't. No, officially we won't. <laughs> well, I won't. <laughs> nah. <laughs> but many other people will. What? Yeah. <laughs> speaking of... I'm not, sure, I'm not saying you should pirate it. Speaking of uh, pirating, though... Oh, boy. There was a controversy with uh, Iron Fury. Mm -hmm, mm hmm You know about that game? If it, yes. It, it, so. it harkens back to the 90s style, like sort of Duke Nukem-esque. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> there was a screech. The uh, developers... And publishers back down, they bent the knee, they removed the quote-unquote transphobic and offensive parts. And uh, someone of the, on the developer's part said that, eh, just pirate it. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Oh, good God, that is awesome. <laughs> that is amazing. And interestingly enough, I mean, all of the things that was supposed to be the remedy for piracy mm. has now turned around and, and become the reason why you want to pirate. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, maybe we, maybe we do want to play the game, but we don't want to support that shit that is the gaming companies. Yeah. And I'm... I like mean, you said, we, we're not saying we endorse it. Sure. We're not endorsing it. No. Pi I mean, piracy is still illegal. Yeah. So It is a crime, we, so no. We're not saying you should do it. We're, I'm not saying anyone should do it. But we're talking about comments made. Yeah. So, it is what it is. Yeah. But I, I just think it's funny that a developer say, ah, just pirate it. Yeah. <laughs> because it goes to show that sometimes people care more about their art than yeah. making a profit. And, and it's also another interesting thing that because the European Union had a commission uh, taking do, doing a study on the uh, aspects of pirating, how it actually impacts developers or, or publishers and so and so. Media companies and all that. Yeah. What they actually found was that media that gets pirated does not have any form of impact on income. Mm. Rather, it could have a positive outcome. Well, it's free publicity, really. It could be that people that pirate it mm -hmm. find it to be good and thus actually go and buy it. That makes sense. I... I know some people that uh, does exactly this with yeah. movies. So I, I think that why we have so hard uh, or 
why there is such a hard stance against piracy, it isn't because of moral issues. No. It's because of greed. Of course. Because when, when it was the biggest wave of anti-piracy during the late 2000s, Mm. Uh, if it was 2011, 2012, something like that, even. Mm. And it was around the, around the time when they actually uh, caught and prosecuted the Pirate Bay guys. Yeah. Now, they were prosecuted for tax evasion and tax fraud. Ah, the old Al Capone. Uh, yeah. Pitfall. Not because of piracy by itself, mm. but that was included in the charges in it. But but the thing is that uh, one of the main arguments made was that piracy hurt the income of the uh, artists. Mm -hmm. Now, the, it was mostly for the uh, music industry when, when all this carousel How was else will Lars Ulrich uh, buy his own private island? Yeah, sort of. But the thing is that it's not really impacting the artists at all. No. It's only the publishers. Hmm. And they count that every uh, copy pirated yeah. is a net loss. Of course. They don't count for uh, people buying a legal copy later. Mm -hmm. For people buying extra copies or something like that. No, 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 no. They just make a cal calculation that for every pirated copy, mm. they lose X amount. And so, now, for everyone with something between his ears that would count as a brain and has done e economics, I haven't. But yeah, that is retarded. <laughs> what I want to say is that is, that is that, retarded. That is pure theoretical data. Yeah. Purely theoretical statistics, mm. really. Uh, it, it's not been verified. It's it's only a sum. As we all know, statistics lie. Yeah. Well, lies, fucking lies, and statistics, or whatever it is. statistics. Yeah. But this was made as an argument, and sure, it sounds plausible, of course. But is it really what's happening? Mm -mm. Mm, nah. Especially since the findings made by the committee of, uh, or, or the uh, commission from the European Union. Mm. But here's the, the really fun thing about that study. It was never publicly uh, published. Or, or it was published. You can, always, you can find results and everything, but yeah. no one talks about it. That, that's what it is. Well, I guess money changed pockets and then uh, there you have it. I think it was rather that they saw the results, it didn't fit into certain narratives, mm. and thus they buried it. Of course. Alright, we the publishers want to know, does piracy hurt our company? No. Oh, shit. Stum, stum. Yeah. <laughs> shut it down, shut it down. Yes, it does, be quiet. <laughs> be quiet, Ginger. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Fun, that. Fun stuff. Yeah. <sighs> the artist will always survive if they're big enough, that is. Maybe, maybe not. They will have publicity. But the uh, art will. Of course. Well, depending. <laughs> depending. Oh, yeah, that is true. Good games will be remembered. Bad games, all that too. Well, mediocre games. E even the bad games might be remembered. Exactly. But, but the but mediocre <laughs> games, those will subside in history. Yeah, well, they, they will have their place in the wall. Yeah. In the meh. Yeah. Meh. <sighs> Good God, there, there's been a lot of flogging today. Where the fuck are we right now? <laughs> I don't know, but I think I've broken at least two whips <laughs> on this. <laughs> My segue's broken. Yeah. But here's a, a, a fun note. I've actually been a guest on uh, our good friend... Dave, Fair Dave, Dave, Dave's uh, podcast, which is actually Tinfoil Dave. <laughs> so uh, you should all go check out that too. You should all go check out Fair Dinkum Dave. 
Tell them that the Dead Red Herring sent you. Exactly. You can all you can find all of his stuff over at uh, YouTube. Yep. Just search for Fair Dinkum Dave, and you should find his his fine Australian channel. Fine Australian vocals. <laughs> And, of course, you should be able to find the episode with moi, yours truly. <laughs> and uh, you, while you're still over at YouTube, you should check out our stuff on YouTube as well. Yes, you should. While you're there. While you're there. You could always uh, check out uh, Magnus Fine uh, yeah. series with yeah. Clarence the Mage. Exactly. I just dropped another episode upon ya. Upon ye. Upon ye. Well, I should be at least a couple of more episodes. Yeah, of probably. Yeah. But uh, you're playing Skyrim, and yes, we do. upload all of our podcast episodes, and from time to time you will see stuff for that is recorded on Twitch making its way over to YouTube. Yeah. And speaking of Twitch, you can always drop in to see uh, some of our live gameplay there. Shenaniganazen. Shenaniganazen. Playing some uh, random stuff. Yeah. We, uh, you never know. We, you, nev- you never know. <laughs> and of course, you find all of our regular podcast things on most podcast episodes. Mm. Uh, episodes. Uh, platforms, of ha! course. I don't know what I say anymore. But, yeah. but you can always look for us on uh, iTunes, Spotify. Red Circle. Red Circle. Where- Stitcher. Stitcher. Not that one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Especially yes. that one. Especially the that pinky one. finger yeah. one. But yeah, wherever you find podcasts, you should be able to find us. Yeah. We do upload regularly on, um, what is it called? BitChute. Yes, of you course. Sh- you, you can also find... find our stuff on BitChute. Yes. Do we will find us almost everywhere. everywhere. And of course, you can always get in touch with us on Twitter. The main handle is at the DRH podcast. Yes. And if you would like, you could always send us an email. The address is dead.red.herring at gmail.com. Yes. And also, if you want to send us regular postcards, then you can find us on Don Eliasson at (laughs) Nowin. Oops! anti pirate byrån <laughs> Just send to Migrationsverket. <laughs> oh god, god, here I go. Regeringskanseliet. <laughs> We will... <laughs> yes, god damn. <laughs> now, now that would be interesting. Yes, yes it would. But if you actually want to help us out and support us, yes. you could always just... Uh, do the simple thing of spreading our stuff. Mm. Share it with your friends. Family. Family. Pets. Enemies. You know, annoy them. Even the old old woman across the street. <laughs> Especially her. The one with all the crazy cats. Just tie a little SSD card to a brick and just lob it through that window. Uh, no, don't do that. That's a waste of money. I don't think she knows how to use the SD card. Well, a VHS would su- suffice. <laughs> How do you... Well, you could convert our stuff onto a VSH. Or maybe a cassette. Mm. What about vinyl? Ooh. Now we're talking. Then you can just... Lock- Frisbee that vinyl all over the street. <laughs> <laughs> ah, what the... F- <laughs> <laughs> Men var det? Vår så kasta. Okay, we're, we're getting way out of line now. We need so. food right now. Yes. <laughs> so... Thank you for listening. Hope you enjoyed our weird rants and uh, controversial opinions. Mm. <sighs> yes. We'll talk to you later. Auf Wiedersehen, mein Schatz. Bye now. <laughs> It was only a dream. Uwe, <laughs> <laughs>